Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. So real quick question to you guys, what is your EDC setup? Now I've asked that question in the past and I wanted to know if there's been any changes to your everyday carry. There has been with me and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Before we get into that, thank you so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate everybody's likes, your comments, sharing it with your friends and those of you who haven't, uh, please consider subscribing if you think that I deserve it. I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into it. I have decided to get a new belt. The one that I had been wearing is this one right here. It is a Jason Winnie's leather goods belt and I've been wearing it for the last six years. I ended up buying this right after my CCW course in 2014, which is several years before my YouTube channel started, but I had gotten into seriously carrying every single day right about that point. After my EDC or my CCW course, they did talk about gear uh, to consider while you are carrying every single day. A good belt was the foundation that the instructor articulated. And uh, so I bought this one and it has done very well for me over the last six years. Now I will say that because it is leather, it has stretched out. You can kind of see how that dips right there. And uh, it has worn in pretty good. So it's a little bit more floppy, even though it is a double thick, um, double thick belt. But again, it's done me very well and I've been very pleased with it. However, Core Essentials reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in taking a look into one of their belts and changing to a new belt had been in the back of my mind, but I hadn't really paid much attention to it. So when Core Essentials did reach out to me, I was like, absolutely. Now, naturally, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this is the number one product ever. I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to tell you my experiences, the pros, the cons, and allow you to make a decision for yourself. But again, Core Essentials did send me two belts. Uh, here is one of them right here. I am wearing one right now and have been for the last couple of weeks. And I'm just going to be right up front. It is my new favorite belt. Uh, I really do like it. I will share with you guys why I like it so much, but I also have a few concerns. We'll get into that here in just a second. So packaging on this is really simple. And that is kind of the first pro about Core Essentials is the simplicity. When you purchase one of these belts, you don't have to worry about what size of belt you need. You just find the one you want and you purchase that one. When you get it in the mail, you will then size it to you. And sizing is actually fairly simple. Now, they recommend in the directions that you figure out your actual waist size and then add four to that number, clip the belt from there, and then attach the buckle. For me, all I did was take my waist size on my pants, which is a 34. Again, add four for you Marines out there. That equals 38 <laughs> and you cut the belt right there. One tip that I figured out once I cut it is you want to go ahead and take a lighter and melt the frayed ends just to kind of give it a little bit more um, rigidity in, in, in that connection point right there. And then you slide the belt over, clamp it down. It has two set screws that you can lock the belt buckle down using the included Allen wrench. So, it comes with everything that you need, and I thought that that was really pretty cool. The package that I got also came with a small bag, so if you wanted to put the belt into that bag and toss it into a suitcase if you're traveling, that was also a really nice feature as well. The other great thing that I really did like about this belt and what sets Core Essentials apart from all the other belts is this ratchet system that they have uh, devised between the belt buckle and the belt itself you're going to end up with about a quarter of an inch uh, adjustment between each notch, whereas your standard traditional belt is going to have adjustments about one every inch. That's a big uh, asset to this belt because with me, my weight fluctuates throughout the year. Obviously, as, as we get closer to the end of the year with Thanksgiving and Christmas, I pack on a few extra pounds. In summer, 
uh, spring, summer, and early fall, I'm usually losing a lot of weight as well. So having this uh, amount of adjustment on here, not only the length of it, but then the intervals in between each adjustment is really pretty handy. It also helps out with me because I do carry two different types of pistols, uh, a subcompact, which is my P365, and then I have a Glock 19 that I normally carry as well. So depending on what I'm going to be doing that day, this adjustment allows me to get the perfect fit for my waistline. So that's something I really, really did like as well. The material on this is a double thick belt. So as you can see, I can hold it right here and it's not going to sag at all. If you attach a firearm right here, it's not going to bend over very easily. So that's something really, uh, that I, that is actually a piece that I really like. It has a really nice nylon outside and then the inside is kind of an over molded uh, polymer plastic type of material. So uh, everything seems to be very well made, double stitched, and it looks like it is very good quality. Now I've been wearing mine, uh, the other belt that I have that they sent me for roughly about two weeks. And as I said, I am very pleased with it right out of the gate. However, there are some concerns that I have with this belt as well. And the first being the cost of the belt. These belts are going to run anywhere between 60 to 75 ish dollars. And for some, that's maybe a little too expensive. And I totally understand that. Not everybody has the same financial situation as someone else or even me. So I totally understand that. So I would love to see Core Essentials come out with a budget version, if at all possible. That would be huge for some of you guys out there as well. The other thing is with the buckle here, the buckle is made out of metal and then the notches on the inside here, it's going to be a polymer plastic type of material. So as we have metal locking into plastic, eventually I'm concerned that that may wear out over time and it may wear out quicker than my leather belt that I've worn for the last six years. Is that the case? I don't know. I haven't heard any concerns from anyone else that I've talked to when it came to Core Essentials. Uh, I've heard great things about them. Really haven't heard too many negative things about them as well. And then the final thing is they have this little nylon piece here. It's just a Velcro loop used to kind of tie down the excess belt as you lock it into place. With a traditional belt, that is going to be integrated into the buckle itself, but with the Core Essentials belt, since you have to size it when you receive it, they're not able to do that and they have this small little piece. Now the downside to that is it's a small piece, it could get snagged and pop off your belt and could um, you, you could lose it. Uh, fairly simple. So then your your excess is kind of flapping out there. Uh, I would like maybe to see some way of integrating a locking tab on the end of the belt so it just kind of locks in on itself maybe. I don't know. Uh, but that's a little nitpicky. It's not that big of a deal. I haven't had any issues with mine as of yet. Realistically, the belt stays exactly where I want and that's why I really, really do like it. And I would, I would recommend it to other people, but again, it may not be perfect for you. For me, it is. Regardless if I'm sitting down, standing up, uh, moving around, whatever the case may be, I really do feel that this belt stays put and puts my firearm exactly where I want it and keeps it there regardless of what I'm doing. So that's one of the things that I really, really do like about it. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you think about Core Essentials? Do you have any experience with them? If you have worn them, have they worked out well for you? Share that with everybody else so that uh, we can get a little bit more feedback from more than just me on whether or not this belt is for you. If you guys are interested and you do want to pick up one of these, I do have a discount code. It is down in the description and down below. So just head on over to Core Essentials and then apply the discount code Fit in Fire, and you will get a discount on anything that you order from Core Essentials. So with that being said, thanks so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate all of your support and I hope you guys will be joining me for the next video. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.